Good afternoon, guys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hey, Adam G, your online Queen's Rational talk show. Today, I have a very special content for all of you guys as I am being given a chance and opportunity by the Bini Bini Filipinas Charities Incorporated in Araneta City to interview its newly crowned title holders. There's no doubt talaga, guys. Okay, that explains my smile, big smile, extra wide right now. There's no doubt that when they express themselves on or off stage, we really couldn't help but listen to them. And all the more now that I'm being given a chance to interview them face to face. But first, we did we underwent swab testing, so there won't be an issue. So here she is. Please say hello to Bini Bini Filipinas 2022 second runner up. Stacy Gabriel. Hi, Stacy. Hello, Adam. How are you? It's wonderful to see you. It's so nice to finally see you after two weeks. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, we started our journey with you, so it only makes sense to cap it off with you as well. Yeah, I still remember that you promised me oh, you're going to be my first interviewer if ever I win a crown. And here we are. Yeah. <laughs> Even though, yeah, it, 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 exact, it wasn't exact, it isn't exactly a crown, but it still is. A platform. A it's a platform. It's celebrate. an accomplishment. Yeah. It is an honor. Yeah. So I'm, I'm very grateful. So since July 31, what sort of messages have you been getting from your fans or the public in general? They've been overwhelmingly lovely, encouraging, and just it's so heartwarming. I, I've truly felt bolstered by their support. I felt seen and I feel as though we are slowly building a community online where it's safe to be vulnerable and to express one's innermost feelings and thoughts. And I'm grateful to be a part of that change and hopefully uh, be able to push the needle forward in terms of how we engage with each other online. That's nice, that's nice to hear. So, did you expect to win last July? Because I really put you as one of my top picks in Thank my you. final leaderboard. You were my mini bini Filipinas intercontinental pick. Thank talaga. you so much, Adam. Nakakataba ng puso that pageant experts like you see my potential and my potential to represent our country internationally. That is still the goal. That is still my ultimate dream. But uh, what was the question? <laughs> <laughs> did you expect to win? Oh, did I expect yeah. to win? Going, go, going to the finals night, ito na, puro na kayo rehearsals, did you expect to win? Napan, did you have a good feeling? Uh, absolutely. Or was there absolutely. a particular moment that you had days leading up to the finals night that you felt that, okay, I might probably win this. Right, okay. right. Every woman wants to win, is in it to win it. And each of us poured our mind, body, and soul into this competition for four months. So I believe each of us had an element of, this could be the night, this could be the night a crown is placed on my head after the months of sacrifice, of persistence, of faith. And I definitely had that feeling coming into that night. I had an immense, well, before 10.30, I was so nervous, I could, I, I could have vomited. I, I was telling my sisters, I'm so nervous, I, I, I feel like I might just hurl. Or throw up. <laughs> throw up, yeah. But once 10.30 hit and we were being told we had five minutes to get on stage, I felt this immense calmness. I felt as though all my angels were holding my hand, hugging me, just sort of keeping me steady and keeping me grounded. I had prayed for many, many, many months to have that peace of mind, that clarity, that, that groundedness for Coronation Night. And in that moment, I felt it come to me. So honestly, throughout the entire show, I had no, just, I, I, just, I just knew that no matter what happened on that night, everything would be all right. And that nothing that is meant for me will pass me by. So crown or no crown, Whatever is 
is, is appointed to me, bestowed upon me on that night, was meant for me from the very beginning. Ako kasi talaga, nakita ko na talaga yung merit mo eh as to why you could be the next binibiling Filipinas title holder because Thank you're you. the overall package. You're not only just a beautiful woman, but you can speak your mind. Actually, parang if it, you have this gift or ability to turn a simple question into a, by coming out with a profound answer. And that's what we have been getting from you. So that's why I was so confident to install you as one of my topics, considering that I was looking at the other leaderboards. So how come they're only putting you at the ninth or tenth spot, considering you know, how, how, how powerful speak, a speaker you are, or you will be come finals night? So mm. And then mm. you, when you finally got that question, you were the last to, yes. to answer, right? Yes. You were the last to answer. So how was it like? Were you trying? Because si Ara Arida, I remember in her past interview, she was asking, when she was still standing on stage, she was asking the in her mind right. to you know, keep her nerves I mean, at bay, okay. ikaw, what was go? What were you thinking Ooh. at that time when, when while you were still, yes. were still on? That's interesting. You know, weeks before coronation, we had a mentorship uh, Q and A seminar with Tito Boy Abunda. Yeah. And he told us, and I remember so distinctly, he said, "When you're on stage, don't answer your other sister's questions." Oh. That's that was his piece of advice. He said that is not your question there is no need to exhaust your mind by answering her question and saying oh okay i i, I could handle that i could handle that because what if your question comes up and your mind gets stuck on oh i wish i could have gotten my sister's question i would have nailed that so profoundly and perfectly and so he told us well of course if that was queen ada's way of keeping calm and keeping her nerves at bay then absolutely queens for sure know who you are, know yourself, and know what will keep you grounded. But for me, I had to heed the boy's advice because I knew, uh, I know I'm an overthinker, yeah. I know I'm an anxious Annie, and if I answer every one of my sister's questions, I might perhaps get to my question and feel um, sort of mentally sort of drained yeah. or, you know, and, and I, I wanted to be fresh when I got to the microphone. And so to be honest, I was sort of spaced out. I was sort of just meditating, sort of um, just uh, promoting positive self-talk. Here I am, I'm in Araneta Coliseum. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity. I see my mom, she's got a beautiful sign. I see uh, her Leans fans to my left. They were to my left the entire yeah. time. So, you know, that was cool to see, very beautiful to see that support for her. I was just truly in the moment and I've never been in the moment my entire life. So that was a miracle. Again, I'm very anxious, so I'm always either in the past or in the future, but in that moment, I was just present. So when I got to the mic, I just felt as though that was my time, that was my moment. And I, I, I seized it, I seized yeah. the opportunity. And, so when you, and when you finally heard Joshua Garcia's question for you, yes. like, wow, you just spoke there. Oh, thank you. Nga eh, parang you weren't mindful of the time limit. You were so you're very uh, confident in expounding what a historian is all about. Oh. Na hindi mo na expound yung Marites. So what do you um talagang, talagang nagsalita ka talaga, talagang tuloy -tuloy talaga. Right. Right. Well I know that there are, you know that some people feel as though I should have I should have uh, elaborated on Amarites, but our audience is very sharp. We all know what Amarites means. Yes. And I, I, I simply couldn't use my 30 seconds to define what Amarites was. So because I was asked to distinguish, I felt as though I could focus on one, the, you know, the, um, the one that was spotlighted to begin with. And whatever my explanation for that one would have been the opposite for Amarites. Do you know yeah. what I mean? And so I felt as though when I, when I, when I answered, a historian is one who recognizes our painful past with factual evidence. I, I had answered how I discern a historian from a this. I, I do understand that some people would have liked for me to, to talk on, exactly how a this is you know it plays a role. But, but you were only given thirty. Seconds. I was given thirty seconds, and it's such a layered topic. I was actually. Uh, doing an interview with uh, Nanay Christy Fermin, uh -huh. 
Uh-huh. And she said, Stacy, don't you think that Amarites can also be, be <laughs> uh, can also be an agent for good? And I said, you know, absolutely not. You know, there's different degrees. May mga Amarites na whistleblower. They could, you know, bring certain topics to light that perhaps not everyone is talking about. They could push the conversation forward. Pero meron din naman po mga marites na maaaring makapahamak lang po. So, there are different degrees of what a marites is. So, I, I, it was impossible to sort of, with, you know, to, to approach it with such breadth and such depth in the 30-second time frame. And I also didn't want to hurt any feelings. I didn't want to offend anybody yes. who perhaps identify as a marites. So I didn't want to say, a marites only speaks lies, no. because that's not true. You know? yeah. <laughs> and so I focused on a historian and the importance of having people who recognize both our pain and our progress. And I, I felt as though I had answered how I distinguish the former from the latter. Does that make sense? Yeah, makes sense to me. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know so, what I mean? Yeah, so when you finally heard the crowd sure. got up on its feet in a resounding applause after, your, after hearing your answer, I mean, you feeling more that moment? <laughs> Not like, okay, okay, finally, I'm done. You know, honestly, I, I blanked out. I don't... I blanked out. I don't even remember saying our. I, I I watched the clip back and I said, I said our rich, vibrant history and as well the times when our humanity was trampled, trampled on. on. I don't remember saying that. <laughs> <laughs> I completely. I feel as though I went on autopilot. Uh, you know, I was so present leading up, but when I got to the mic, I was just floating, because I was just so thrilled to be there. I was so delighted to have this opportunity. I knew that in that moment I had this incredible chance to stand against revisionist history. Revisionist history has run amok in our society, you know, especially in recent years. And I knew I had this, I, 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 I've dreamt of becoming an agent for change on a national scale. And here I was able to speak about something so timely and something so, uh, so, so relevant, relevant yeah. to our country. Yeah. Honestly, I was just floating. So when they clapped, I could barely hear it. In fact, I even when, when we went to commercial break, I looked to my mom because she was right yeah. there, and I went, "Was that okay?" I because I, I was I I had no sort of I knew I answered the question. I knew I felt good about what I said, and I I owned it. But I needed my mom's validation to truly <laughs> sort of be able to breathe out. But yeah, I of course watching it back, I heard the people's applause, and that was so heartwarming. Uh -huh. And they applauded even midway, and luckily I didn't hear it, so uh -huh. I just kept pushing and pushing and pushing, and didn't pause for the applause. So luckily I I got it all in that thirty second time frame. So during the deliberation up until the final announcement, what was going through your head in those last few minutes? I knew I had done everything I could to hopefully clinch a title. I was talking to my sisters backstage. I was with Nicole and Roan. Borromeo. Borromeo. Uh. Nicole Borromeo and Roan. And we were just sort of holding each other and talking through our questions and asking for each other's validation. You know, I trained with these women at Aces and Queens, so we've been doing Q&A training since March together. So we know each other's, we know how to pour love into each other. I know, they know that if I need validation, they know exactly what to say to make me feel calm and vice versa. Yeah. So we were just sort of, you know, calming each other's nerves. I loved your answer. And they'd be like, but no, but it was really, I just, I don't know if I did enough. No, 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 girl. It was really, it was, it was solid. It was calm. It was steady. Yes. You know, we, things like that. You know, they would, um, um, no, I'm talking about my sisters. My sisters would be telling me that. And then I'd be telling them, was that? Was that was was I loud enough? I couldn't hear myself, and they told me no, 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 no. You were loud. I heard you backstage. So things like that. You know, we would calm each other's nerves. That's that's all that happened backstage. SB19 was like five feet away, sort of you know, gearing up to perform one last time, yeah. and that was that. Those were the scenes backstage. And then finally, Jojo Rabe, Joanna Day, Pat Go, and Ethel joined here. us. Oh. Right, right, and we all just had a big massive warm group hug oh. uh, so before we got back on stage for the announcement we felt really sort of grounded and steady and loved 
and that was the most important part. Yeah. So at that point, regardless whether you win a crown yeah. or place yeah. or maybe not even called after, after all, you will be so content with everything that you have done in that two hours. Absolutely. Yes. That's great. Ah, super. Ako talaga, nung tinawag ka, ako talaga, the moment you answered well in your Q&A, ah, this girl will place. This girl will definitely win a crowd. So when you were called second runner, I was like, huh? Aww. She was only second runner up with a power, with that powerful answer. Like, huh? Aww. It's like, oh, my day, ako. Pero I was still grateful at the same time that at least you placed. Right. Yeah. Of course. Yeah, but second runner Woof. to be, to finish... Six out of 40 is still a huge accomplishment. Absolutely. Diba? And and not to mention, I had gorgeous, accomplished, uh, experienced queens alongside me. My sisters are, I mean, every, uh -huh. it was anybody's game. Anybody could have won a, a crown yeah. that night. And to be in the six, is for my first ever pageant. Uh -huh. I mean, I started training in March. Before, before March, I couldn't even walk. I, I didn't know yeah. how to walk. My walk was so clunky. It was so bouncy. And so this is definitely a feat. And, and I, and as well, I, I mentioned to you before in our first interview, as recently as six months ago, I wasn't even leaving my, I wasn't even talking to my friends oh. because I was so crippled by anxiety. So, the fact that I was on the Araneta Coliseum stage, able to, to bet on myself, allow myself to shine and live more open-hearted, that was a victory in and of itself. And any, any, any title would have just been the cherry on top. Okay, because it, you mentioned that, because I remember I met your mom in one of, your, in one of the events of the yes. in Philippines. And you know, we talk about you at length. And she told me that she was so happy to see you smiling, beaming, cheerful all the time, considering that this wasn't really you at all Dao, for the past two years yes. as you were diagnosed with OCD and, and anxiety. OCD. So right. Parang ini-insinuate niya niya sa akin kung pwede nga ng araw-araw may binibining Pilipinas just for her to see you so happy, to be so happy like yes. that. Yes. Diba? So that's really a huge process. Yes. Not just in terms of your character, but diba, with the way you have been forging your life. Yes. Diba? This journey healed me. This platform really became something more meaningful to yes. you. Yes. Yes. It. it was therapy. So... Let me rephrase, you know, my healing will be a lifelong journey. But by being in Binibining Pilipinas, I, I allowed myself to begin to heal. Because I'm, I'm, I, this was sort of the impetus that started the healing process, you know. And my therapist told me, what you're doing now, Stacey, this is exposure therapy. How will you know that you're getting better if you don't put yourself out there? and put yourself in position, situations that may not be so comfortable. How would you know that you are thriving and rising above the anxiety if you don't put yourself in these sort of, you know, in situations that kind of scare you a little bit? So I'm just so grateful. I'm so grateful for this whole experience. You know, as I analyze you right now, this was your first time. This is your first time to join Bini Bini. Mm. And then, you know, with, every, with all the hardships that you went through along the way, but you were still able to uh, go through it marvelously as Bini Bini number one who always opens the show yes. with such a huge smile and a stunning facial beauty. Oh. That kind of makes me wonder, do you think it make do you think, you know, your celebrity background may have probably played an advantage? to your candidacy here in Bini Bini Pilipinas now that, now that I think of it. I would think so, yes. I was just with Ate Alisa. We, I was with her. We were watching together. I mean, we oh were yeah, oh, yeah, in the quite, same sort apart of from, quite near from each other. Right. She told me. Stage, she yeah. told me, and uh, you know what she told me? Iba yung iba yung nahasa ka na ng showbiz. Iba yung um, na sharp na yung patience, yung grit, yung perseverance, yung that that unbreakable spirit. Because showbiz really is um, sort of, it's a baptism by fire. So the fact that I had that experience under my belt definitely prepared me for 
the marathon that was Bini Bini Filipinas. It was four months of, you know, yeah. grinding, you know, hustling. I don't, I don't even scale. Halos, opo. In a week, siguro, Saturday, Sundays lang off days. You opo, know? opo. Yeah, typically. And... Yeah, Saturday, Sunday, typically. But even when we do have days off, we're still talking to our teams, logistics, evening gown, national costume, you know? So it's really, it was really nonstop wow. for four months. And definitely, the showbiz background, it definitely allowed me to, despite the chaos, despite all the moving parts, I was able to stay steady. Because I've been here before. I, I've been in productions before. I've, I've felt the pressure before. I've been in pressure cooker situations before. So I knew how to sort of keep myself centered, you know? <laughs> so, pero looking back, do you have any regrets or wish that you could, have done some, you could have done something better in order probably for your placement to be higher? Right. On no regrets. Because regret is a, just a, it's a wasted emotion. I just try not to... I, I try to live by Queen Venus and not regret anything, you know? But definitely lessons. I mean, the, when, I, when I watch my performance, I don't usually do this. As an actor, I never watch my performance back, but I thought, you know, if I, if I do decide to perhaps lumaban po ulit, sumabak po ulit, I need to watch, I need to watch myself. And, and from the get-go, oof. There's so many things I wish I could have done better. I mean, I might just join just to redeem some of those performances. <laughs> but, you know, I, I told myself, again, my first time, but, but okay, let's, let's criticize me. Let's, let's do it. My swimsuit performance, <laughs> I was definitely rattled because I knew the music by heart. And I knew that my Mai was about to enter anytime soon. So I knew my time was, was, was dwindling. Oh. And I knew that I wouldn't have as much time as my sisters did to yeah. walk. So I, I definitely, during that entire swimsuit performance, I was definitely kind of shook. Uh -huh. And I did my spin. So I did my spin, and I was like, darn, Stacy, the camera was still on my sister Anne, Demesa. But, you did your but I still, spin. I did my spin anyway. I was like, shoot, Coach Louie is not going to be happy. Because they teach us, you know, before you do With any of your, time. right, of your cartwheels, you know, chill kamuna, mag, mag pivot, pivot kamuna if the camera is not on you yet. But I, I knew the time was dwindling. I knew the music was getting shorter and shorter. So I said, shoot. So already then, my headspace was sort of, Meh. it was sort of, I was kind of, you know, I was rattled a little bit. I get to the camera and I sort of, my establishment wasn't as solid and confident as I would have liked. But anyway, I walk to the center and I hear my my back just behind me and our stage uh, our, our choreographer says Stacy stay there stay there she's basically telling me have your moment have your shine but I'm such a I'm such a rule follower and a people pleaser and I just knew that if I took my mice I just I was just there were, there were a million thoughts going on in my head and I knew that during rehearsal, you know, you had to just leave. If my Maya is on stage, just, you know, get out of there. So I was trying to keep everybody happy at once. And I was trying not to... I don't want to see my Maya. But, you know, in that moment, I, I, I wish I could have been more... I wish I could have assumed my position and, and owned my moment more, more sort of assuredly, more self-assured. Um, because I was definitely sort of rattled because I knew, I think my VO was cut short as well and my VO wasn't yeah. completed as well. So that was, that was unfortunate, but I knew that it wasn't on me. It was more so a, a timing issue and a technical issue perhaps, or perhaps a timing issue. And, um, so there, my swimsuit performance, then my evening gown performance, I was definitely overexcited. I was just really delighted to be there. Mm -hmm. So I saw my mouth just, why, just like, uh, just, yeah, why? <laughs> My evening gown performance, of course, my mouth was wide open. I was so overexcited. I, I was smiling so hard because I was just so delighted to be there. But perhaps if I do this again in the future and dip my toes into the pageant waters once more, or not even dip my toes, but take a full plunge this time, I'll definitely keep the emotions, keep the excitement at bay. So you have a full plunge in Oh, Adam! Thank you! So, you're only 24 years old. Yes. And have 
four more years to think oh about it. Oh my goodness. It. Yeah, so what do you, how do you feel about the clamor of a lot of pageant fans for you to join again? Honestly, it, even now I'm thinking about it, I, 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 I blush just thinking about it. Nakakakilig po siya because I'm a pageant rookie, you know? I, I, this was not a journey that I, I thought I would ever be on. It's definitely always in the back of my mind because I've always admired pageant queens, not only for the, their beauty, but for the power of their voice. But to now be among them, to be among the Bini Bini queens, and to hopefully leave my own footprint yeah. on the Bini Bini legacy, and to have fans clamoring for me to return, that is just, I take mental gymnastics to comprehend that. It truly is an honor. Yeah. Thank you to everybody who sent me love. Yeah. I, I'm, I, I promise I would try to get through all the DMs and sort of thank everyone in time for sure. But right now it's still a little bit hectic, yeah. but in time I will you get can, to we you. I understand. You guys yeah. are on a, in the middle of a media tour yeah, right now. Yeah, yeah. I like your fighting spirit. Despite all the criticism, let's face it, pageant can be so, pageant can be so toxic. Absolutely. And you know, people can be so mean to you, but despite <sighs> all of that, you still want to forge on, you still want to, you still want to look at things, you know, half full. Absolutely. You know? So, hindi ka talaga natitinag, hindi ka natitinag, hindi ka talaga na, nagpapatala sa mga bashers mo if na, yeah, you see, na, why you still want to join if ever. So that's, well, that's, that's really inspiring, and I'm sure a lot of aspiring beauty queens who are watching us right now would really, could really, you know, give, could really give that um, sense of hope that they could also Absolutely. do the same thing for themselves. Absolutely, yes. Yeah. So as my last question, oh gosh, I wanted to ask you more questions, but Stacy, now that you're second runner-up, what do you hope to achieve with your reign here in Bini Bini Philippines? Mm. You know, I took this leap of faith in order to be vulnerable and be an advocate for vulnerability. So now that I have this national platform, I will continue the work that I've started in the mental health space. I will continue sharing my story and sort of peeling back the curtain of how my mental health journey or what my mental health journey looks like. Of course, people see the glitz and the glamour. People see the, the Stacy that is on the road to recovery. But no one was there when I was crying into my pillow, sort of yeah. lamenting my existence. And I just, I'd like to, I'd like to be real. I just like to be remembered for someone who is real and, and transparent and, and empathetic. And I would, I would love to be a symbol of, hopefully, hope for my fellow mental health warriors. There is help to be had. And I hope to be a part of the change that allows mental health care to be democratized, to be accessible and affordable for every Filipino. And I am strategically working with organizations that have, that, you know, who are aligned with my passion for democratizing therapy, treatment, medication, and hopefully my reign will take us one step closer to that goal. And on that note, thank you so much for doing this interview. No doubt that things that you just said, you'll be able to accomplish it, knowing that, knowing how strong and empowered a woman that you are. Thank you, Adam. Candidate ka pa lang, pero you are already sure of what you want. And now that you have the platform Absolutely. for one more year, all the more, Absolutely. that you will be able to do a lot of things. Yeah. Oh, Adam. Go, Kainta Rizal. Go, Kainta Rizal. Oh, I'm going to miss that. Oh, yeah. I'm going to miss that. So thank you so much. Thank you, Adam. For doing this interview with thank me. You. Thank, thank you. Thank you. You're wonderful. Yeah. You're wonderful. I hope. This won't be the last time. This won't be the last, first and last year we'll see you here in Araneta City. Aww. Hopefully, like you said, probably like a, a year from now, two years from now. Let's, let's. As you think things over. Yes, absolutely. But congratulations once again. Thank you so much, Maraming Adam. Salamat, Thank you.